Hello everyone, Michael here from 3F Homestead. Just wanted to make a video this Sunday to check in with y'all, see how everybody is doing and wish you good uh, good tidings. Um, I was out perusing the property and since we really have only planted a couple of things, I've got a couple of almond trees planted, I got a couple of muscadine uh, grapevines planted, uh, the, the almond trees, they're starting to bloom. I haven't seen anything happen with the muscadines. I also have a blueberry plant, um, a few blackberries that I haven't planted yet in the ground, a bunch of strawberries, um, some other items that have yet to be planted in the ground. But uh, walking around the property, I've noticed that we have, back behind me here, you might be able to see there are uh, giant patches of blackberries and I wasn't sure being wild blackberries I wasn't sure if we were going to get any um, but walking around looks like we are getting little blackberries everywhere all along the tree line back here I've got three big bushes of blackberries and uh, or big patches I should say of blackberries and then I came over here to a little flat spot uh, it used to be a tree here and I want to share with you guys this awesome little patch that I have is going to be hopefully easy for me to harvest and I'm probably gonna to have to put a net on it pretty soon so that other uh, animals or birds uh, don't get them before I can. So without further ado, here is my blackberry patch. Here's a little blackberry patch, wild. You can see them growing in here. You got some blackberries. These little ones here, and you got some here. This one here, look at that, see? That's one of the bigger ones that I'm seeing, but you can see, look how many there are. And this is just one little area, one little area that I found. So I'm gonna prune back some of the stuff that's not blackberry, so the so the berries grow as big as they're gonna grow. But see, you can see them all the way down here. Got some right there, looking good. Tons and tons and tons of blackberries. And then, I'm gonna show you guys over here. These are the patches. I need to clear a little bit around the patches here. A little bit over here. And basically make it to where I can get all the way around because there are blackberries growing all over this. Uh, get a little closer here. All the white flowers, that's where they're turning to blackberries. All these white flowers here. You see that the bees are even pollinated. The bees are everywhere too. There are bees everywhere. And I haven't even gotten my beehive built, which is something that I'm going to be doing pretty soon. So uh, for those of you who may not know, I did buy a honey flow hive and um, I just haven't put it together. We did find a local supplier of uh, bee queens and swarms. And so I'm gonna be putting that together soon. I'm gonna film that and I'll make another video uh, talking about the honey flow hive, how uh, difficult or easy it was to put it together and um, showing you guys what it looks like because I know a lot of people have traditional beehives and I, being somebody that would have never, even six months ago, considered having bees, the honey flow hive is one that allows me not to disturb the bees so much when um, harvesting the honey. And so I'm hoping that'll help me to ease into the world of beekeeping. So we have more, of the patch here. So this is a big patch we have here. I'm gonna have to go ahead and, like I said, clear out all around here, all around the back, and all the way around. And I think what I'll eventually do is, is try to get uh, some of this cut back, maybe build some kind of a trellis, something, just to keep the hives a-going. Now let me show you the other one over here. This is the second of three. There's another one on the other side of the property that I've found so far. And then of course, all over the place, these are growing. And I know they're pretty invasive as far as, you know, they got, they got thorns on them and everything. Um, 
and they grow everywhere fairly easy from what it looks like to me. Mind you, we've only been here a little over a month. Uh, you can see where they're growing big and, and tall. And so I want to kind of get these under control and keep them contained to these areas. I've got a lot of space cleared where these don't grow, but they do make it kind of hard to get out there. See, you can see that they're growing back there and all new ones right in this little area. I think this area used to be a little clearer, maybe even mowed around these trees. And so I'm gonna go ahead and get this area cleared out because I don't want them to grow here. But I'm gonna keep these wild blackberries going because man, oh man, what a harvest it'll be. Let me know what you all think. If you have any experience with blackberries, I this is a brand new thing for me. Uh, especially with the wild ones. If you have any experience, please let me know in the comments. Also, please give us a like, give us a subscribe. Uh, share with others if you can. And with that, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let you guys go and upload this here to YouTube. Again, this is 3F Homestead. We are just getting started out here. So as we move along, I hope to provide more videos, um, and hopefully get involved with an online community of people who are homesteading. Um, I know that I'm over there on Bertaria Times. If you don't know what that is, check it out. I think it's a cool place. It's very positive. There's not a bunch of people tearing each other down like there, there can be in a lot of other social media. Um, basically, it's building. And it's building new supply chains. Getting back to local. Stop shopping at the big box stores. Our goal here is to minimize, virtually eliminate the need for the grocery store and eventually be a producer of food that my community needs, that our community needs. So with that, I want to let you guys go. Remember, the individual is the ultimate minority. May God bless you and have an excellent Sunday.